As the housing crisis continues, there is one silver lining this morning. Mortgage rates are dropping. Last week, the number of mortgage applications jumped 112 percent, and refinance applications were up more than 200 percent. And guess what? The financial industry wants to lower rates even more. Hooray. Early show financial news contributor Vera Gibbons is here. Good morning, Good Vera. Good morning, Maggie. So this happened after rates fell below 6%. Imagine if they fall to 4.5%, as is speculated, could happen next right. week. Right. Imagine, imagine that. I mean, what's happening is the government is you know, dumping, pumping $600 billion into the mortgage market, buying up debt, buying out uh, that type of thing. And so that's what's, ca what's, what's happening. It's bringing mortgage rates down 5.5% right now. It's at, at a three-year low. And if mortgage rates go to 4.5%, you're going to see even a greater flurry of activity. Someone finally decided to tackle the housing crisis. <laughs> mm, right. What well, a great idea. Intention. I mean, that's the whole intention by the government is to bring these rates down, increase demand, increase activity, increase the transactions, and ultimately drive those prices up. We won't actually see any effects of this until the middle of 2009, if not the end of 2009. But that's the intention. Okay. And, and get people out there, get those prices up, because that's been obviously a problem. It's great news if you can get a mortgage. But like you said, all we have to do is look at foreclosures and how low home values are to know mm -hmm. that people can't afford, don't have the credit or the right. money to get a new home. Well, that's the problem. But if you have good credit, you've got a low debt to equity ratio, you can actually make the numbers work, you've got a good credit score, then it's a good time to actually buy. But I think we'll have a more muted response in the home buyer's market versus the refinance market, which is why you're seeing applications for the refi market double what they are for the home purchasing market. Even if you if you can't afford to buy, you think it's a no-brainer to refinance if you plan to stay in If you home can. I mean, here's the thing with a refinancing thing. If you owe more on your mortgage than your home is worth, this doesn't even matter right. to you. But if you've got some equity in the home, 10% or more, you can make the numbers work. You can switch out of a adjustable rate mortgage into a fixed rate mortgage. Now would be the time to consider doing it. It's a hassle, but maybe worth it. It's a hassle, but it's worth it. Now, these are just applications, so you've got to get them to exactly. the, to the closing here. But that's a whole, <laughs> that's other a whole other thing. You really have to have the equity in order to get the approval. But this is a step in the right direction. Again, the intention is to bring a demand out there, get the transactions going, drive those rights down, get prices up. Knock on wood. Very good. That's a lot. <laughs>